Hey, what's up guys? IQ here, and in this video, we'll be counting down 8 bodybuilders who took it way too far. But make sure to watch to the end, cause this one bodybuilder injected oil into his muscles, and during a bodybuilding show, it ended up popping. Disclaimer, never try anything in this video. So to start it all off, we have these bodybuilders who get heated during a bodybuilding show, and this just can't end well. Since it's basically a competition to show off their physiques, bodybuilders have to catch the attention of the judges. But here, a few bodybuilders end up pushing each other on stage, and this does not end well. Never try this. And in this clip, we have a bodybuilder who may have taken things way too far to look ripped. So I guess before the show, the bodybuilder didn't eat or drink much, fearing it might mess with his physique, and this causes him to pass out on stage due to a lack of nutrients and water. Needless to say, this is a horrible idea and you should never try this. Next up, we have this kid who's only 12 years old and is already becoming a bodybuilder. That means doing some next level workouts, drinking protein shakes, and all that stuff. So he's apparently one of the strongest kids and it's crazy to see what he looks like at only 12 years old. And to show off his power, he arm wrestles his huge brother and you guys gotta see how this ends. Alright, he seems pretty ripped, but comment what you guys think of him so far. Next up, we have this 9-year-old kid nicknamed Little Hercules and he's no joke. He was even featured on Inside Edition dubbed the strongest kid in the world. This guy looks absolutely shredded to the point that he's at professional bodybuilding levels. He's also super flexible and can do some crazy things, but over the years, it turns out his dad was forcing him to do all this stuff and you guys gotta see the end. All grown up with a beard and ponytail. Richard Sandrak was once famous for being the strongest boy in the world. At age 8, he had bulging biceps like a champion bodybuilder, washboard abs, and moved like a contortionist. So what's he doing now? I set myself. I'm gonna have to blur this part out because it looks super dangerous, but now he's a stuntman in a movie jumping in water on fire. Never try this because this is for a movie. Tim, Little Hercules, is now a fire diver for Universal Studios Hollywood Waterworld show. The first time was very scary. All I could think about was, you know, follow the safety procedures. As a stuntman, Richard is set on fire up to five times a day. He's shot at and plunges headfirst off a platform 50 feet below. But here's a shocker, he's given up weightlifting. He says he doesn't even like bodybuilding now and focuses on other things. Richard's father, Pavel, was in charge of his strict weightlifting routine. 
he was widely criticized for pushing his young son too hard. People try to make me seem to be out some sort of freak of nature when there were many kids that, were, that had a very similar physique. When Richard turned 11, his father went to prison for domestic violence for beating Richard's mother. That's when Richard cut all ties with his dad and stopped bodybuilding. When you meet someone today, do you hope that they don't bring up Little Hercules? Oh, I'm very proud of my past. It's not something that I don't want anybody to know anymore. It's just that I'm not going to be stuck living in it. He says he doesn't even care, and he's just proud of what he accomplished as a kid. But wow, what a change. He skateboards, and he runs up and down stairs. To keep up his strength training, Richard does chin-ups. If you could have your dream job today, what would it be? Quantum scientist for more specifically maybe even uh, an engineer for NASA. Well, we didn't see that coming. And do you see that becoming a reality? Absolutely. There's no reason it couldn't be. Still, to the world, he will always be Little Hercules. Next, we have an insane bodybuilder who injects synthol oil right into his muscles to make them look way bigger. Now, this is definitely not natural and makes his muscles just unrealistically big. But keep watching because another guy does the same thing, but it ends up popping on stage. Never try this. Here we have Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman, the two biggest bodybuilders in the scene, competing to win and they get aggressive. Of course, they're both super competitive and want to steal the show, so on stage they end up pushing each other to assert their dominance on the judges. I don't know about you, but I definitely wouldn't want to come between them. In this clip, we have these two jacked bodybuilders on stage, and similar to a clip previously, they are pushing each other and trying to get the judge's attention. But honestly, the next clip is even crazier, so keep watching. Now, in our final clip, we have a bodybuilder who injects oil right into his muscles. This bodybuilder definitely took it way too far, because as he was on stage, I guess it popped and it seemed like oil leaks out. Watch closely, but definitely never try doing anything like this. It won't end well, but luckily this guy was okay in the end. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Like the video and subscribe and click on one of the other videos on the right. See you guys.